time to tell the truth. I've never actually opened a booster pack of English Pokemon base set. That's because when I got into collecting, uh, I started with Rocket Set, but I, you know, I knew people who had Base Set and Fossil and Jungle and I did plenty of trading. Let's get this pack open. Here it goes. Now we're expecting this to be a light pack. It was already weight. So Drowsy, Abra, Ghastly, Onyx, Rattata, hmm, no Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Squirtle. Energy card, energy card, ah, item finder, <laughs> I would have liked Dragonair or Beedrill, whew, these packs are pricey, let's see, Raticate, Pokédex, and Haunter, he's kind of nice, this is a pretty tough pack, pray for Charizard, the luckiest man alive, Von Doom, alright, we got Meowth, Eevee, Zubat, Oddish, Grimer, Ekans, Abra. Oh my god, Von Doom's the luckiest man alive. It is the Dark Char. What is this? Oh my god, Von Doom, you just got rich, dude. This is actually an oh my god moment. That's the Dark Dragonite error card. You pulled that along with the Dark Charizard Hollow First Edition, Von Doom. You just made like, I don't know how much you just made. All right, you ready for this, Von Doom? You see this? This is what you pulled. You just pulled this. non hollow Error, first edition uh, Dragonite. You know, everyone hopes to get, you know, maybe a thousand dollars or two off of like a Dark Charizard pull, which you'd pull anyways. That's an error card. Nobody pulls that. Von Doom's like, it can't be real. You've been blessed by the Poke Gods, Von Doom. Today, I'm opening up a first edition booster pack of Fossil. I do believe it's heavy. If you enjoy seeing these really expensive openings, don't forget to leave a follow. All right, very cool. I was trying something new there. I was trying to record uh, in slow-mo, but I actually recorded, first of all, I recorded very quickly. Oh, starting with the Slowpoke first edition. All right. Yeah, I kind of messed that up on the pack opening. We'll get it better next time. Zubat, Energy Search, Ammonite. Oh, Psyduck's the best card. And behind it, we have Lapras. Holy. Lapras is a really good card from Fossil if you can get it to grade 10. Let's see if ours has a chance. So the problem with Lapras is there's not a lot of 10s out there. Oh, this might have a shot based on the front. Let's check the back. I'm always trying to bring you guys something fun and new. So here is a Crystal Guardians booster pack. You don't often see these get open, and I thought it would just be fun to see what's inside. Crystal Guardians. We're looking for a nice reverse hollow in this set. Oh, no. So it does look like the cards inside are fairly damaged all the way through wow it did have a lovely torchic in it but the torchic is so damaged there's no chance for it oh that's a pity <laughs> i wonder if i can uh contact the seller and let them know how damaged it is that's too bad man all right very cool let me know what you think now we need to find out how you guys do in the pack break sleep Oh, I almost flipped the hollow around. <laughs> My brain was running on autopilot for a half second there. And you get the hollow card, and it is. Whoop. Oh, that's the best pull of the night. He pulls Snorlax. What a pull. That's why we open up jungle right there, guys. Take a look at that. Mitchell, this is... A considerably expensive pull. Congratulations, man. Especially if it grades well. Look at that, everyone. I think a 10 of those Snorlax goes for like a thousand bucks or something, doesn't it? Really nice. That's like hitting the Pokemon Lotto. Woo! Mitchell goes, holy cow. Let's try and keep the pack this time. All right, there we go. Hey, most of the pack is really nice and intact. You ready? All right, number two, everyone. Thank you so much, Mr. JC, for opening this pack with me. It's so nice of you. It is looking like a hollow pack, so that is good news. All right, I believe this is a hollow. Actually, I can't tell now. Oh, there you go, Mr. 
Mr. JC picking up holographic dark Blastoise, one of the best pulls in the set. Let's give it a quick look at. I can already tell you it's off center, but let's take a look for any print lines. Not seeing any print lines, so that's really nice. Now, the bigger problem is we zoom out. The left side is thin. So probably a nine on the dark Blastoise. A nine dark Blastoise first edition holo, though, is still pretty valuable. Let's see if we can pick up some more good common uncommons. All right, man, you got some crazy cool pulls in here. Look at all this. I would definitely get that graded. All right, you ready? Here goes. Sneep. That's some lovely sneeps. Matthew Hayes. Ah, Matthew Hayes gets a berry, but you know what that means. So we changed the rules. You automatically get the empty booster the moment you pull a non-rare trainer. Sergio, let's see what you pull, Sergio. Stoop. It's Natu. Oh, very nice. Now we've got Kip F. And there's the Zatu. We got Natu and then we got Zatu. It's perfect. You also have Mr. The Hoon and he picks up. Whoop. Oh, it's so cute. Togepi in a tree. Wow. We're going to need a couple more of those. Mr. Mitchell, he's going to pull. Oh, it's the actual Lugia. Woo. Oh, my Lord. That's such a beautiful pull, man. What? That's the first time we pulled it. We've opened so many of these Neo packs, and that is the first time we pulled the Lugia. All right, Rashad, let's get you your own booster of Neo Discoveries. You ready? One whole pack of Neo 2. Hopefully a really good card in here. Set the hollow down, and let's see what you got here. So the best card in here is probably Eevee and probably Scyther. We've got Hopip, Metapod, Kabuto, Oh, there it is. There's the Eevee. Very good. And the Scyther. Very good. Pretty well-centered uh, Scyther, too. Yeah, the Eevee looks good as well. So you might have a good pack here. Now, you're really wanting the Hollow to be like an Umbreon, but, you know, there's quite a few Hollows in the set. You actually pull... <laughs> oh! What a pack! Oh, my lordy! He's got Eevee, he's got Scyther, and then he pulls the Hollow Espeon as well. Unbelievable, man. That is gonna be one of the top two pulls out of that set, and you just casually pick it up. So there is a Gym Challenge pack. It's a really nice, crisp-looking one. I hope you get a great pull. Oh, one live grade for the Gym Challenge pack. Holy Jesus. Oh my God, dude. Wow, you guys are getting to see a lot of vintage product being open right now. What a treat. This could be pretty good, actually. I can tell you it's not Charizard, but it could be a different card that's really good. Here it goes. Oh, I was right. Oh my God, look at this card. He pulled the band Sabrina's Gengar and look at the centering on the corners, everyone. Could that be more perfect? Look at that amazing centering. Oh my God, he ordered live grading on that too. So clean. <laughs> All right, so I got to go live grade this. What do you guys think? You think that's got a shot? I think it's got a shot. Anyways, oh, look at this. TCC 10 Sabrina's Gengar. How beautiful. Wow, man, congratulations on that. It's crazy to see this go from the table to the slab. You know what I mean? Mr. Open a Rocket Pack, says James. Okay. James wants me to open a Rocket Pack. Let's pull out a perfect 10 Magneton, huh? You know, I've never done that before. I've never opened up a Magneton that came out PSA 10. We got Diglett. We got Drowsy. This is because James O'Brien said I needed to open a pack of Team Rocket. Here's Dratini. Dratini's pretty good. Here is Ponita. Here is Magnemite, one of my favorites. I got Jubilife playing back there. It's the extended Jubilife. I think Jubilife is one of the best songs to come out of that. Oh my God. So, oh my God. You're kidding me. Dark Charizard. Oh my God, dude. Unbelievable, James. Well, we pulled Dark Charizard out of the booster pack. Oh my God. James is like, yay! Holy Jesus, dude. Five boxes of Rocket now, and I've never pulled a Dark Charizard for myself ever in my life. Do you let me know, mister? All right, James, you're invited to the Masquerade Ball. Next up, we got Brigido Ibarra. Mister, can I get a live custom and a pack break? Ah, that's the end of the pack break. My order's gonna have to be refunded, isn't it? Says Doug. Well, we'll have another pack of Neo going. It's Brigitto. He's new. He pulls, oh, a beautiful holographic him on tap. Did I say him on tap? Him on top. I guess you call him him on tap when he's got to grow up for the night. 
Ah, there's the special hollow. Oh, and look at that. It's totally awesome. A hollow tie Ranatar for Joshua Roberts. Beautiful, man. Uh, we'll have lots more pack breaks, okay? So you're not missing out, trust me. Unless this particular pack is unusually hot. Oh, it actually was the Espeon. That's so great. Holy cow, man. That's the second best card in the set, with the best card being the Umbreon. Crazy. Look at that card, guys. Oh, it actually was the Espeon. That's so great. Potential 10? You want me to look it over real careful? Let's look it over real careful. No, this won't be a 10. So if you look at the bottom, uh, between the left and the right, it is two off center. But you know what? It could be a really nice nine. Would I still grade it? Of course I would, because even a nine could be worth like close to $100. And you know, when you encapsulate a card, it's not all about the money. When your card is in here, it's protected. So it's like the best sleeve that the card can have. Slabs are crispy, mister. I love graded cards. Sometimes you get naysayers who say, oh, graded cards are no good. It's like, what are you talking about, man? They're like the best thing to happen to cards. Come on, Misty Steers. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Misty's Tears, the best card in the set, sells for a ton of money as a 10. And of course, it's because it features a waifu and she is surprised naked. All right, you ready? Are you scared? But good luck, everyone. Hopefully some good common and commons in these packs. You know, the uncommons can be really nice, like Dark Charmeleon, Dark Flareon, Dark Vaporeon, Dark Jolteon. Those are all pretty solid. All right, here we go. We've got Dark Rapidash for Chris Acevedo. Not bad, Chris. Ah, challenge. Kerr Irig is going to end up taking home the empty booster pack. Dark Machoke. All right, no Dark Charmeleon, unfortunately. That's too bad. Now, here it is, guys. Here's the big hit in the pack. Are you ready? Here it is. We're sending it to the side, and here's the name. Oh, what a tease! We'll, we'll flip it around at the very end, okay? All right, no Charmeleons, no Charmander. This has been a tough pack for everyone so far, except for the guy who pulled the hollow, which we don't know what hollow it is. Worst case scenario, it is here comes Team Rocket. So who is the guy who hasn't been pulled? I don't even know. You ready? Derek Johnson. All right, here goes. Dark Doug Trio Hollow with the big swirl. Nice, man. Beautiful. Now, this is a scary pack. Obviously, it's very expensive. You know, I feel like the reason these Neo Destiny packs are so expensive, besides the fact that they're pretty rare, with these really old Neo Destiny packs, people are still chasing after that shining Charizard. Ooh, I love the dark Wigglytuff out of this set. He's giving you the hand. Keep my pokies out your mouth. Oh, what's this? Remoraid. Lovely Remoraid. He somehow turns into an Octillery. Doesn't make sense. Wow, that's a cute. Look at that. That's Chansey. It's an uncommon, beautiful card. So even these uncommon commons are gradable in this set. Houndoom. Look at the artwork on the Houndoom. Very cool, man. And Dark Ariados. Very cool. And that's a rare Dark Ariados. You ready? Oh, Light Dragonite. Oh my God. That's such a good pull. So if you're not pulling one of the shining Pokemon, this is definitely probably one of the top five pulls in the set other than the shiny Pokemon. Yeah, that was a hot pack. Brew. All right. Wow. Thank you, Coeli. Base set two Pokemon booster pack. Hopefully heavy. All right. Let's see what we got in here. Shouldn't even be opening this. I probably ought to just seal it. Leave it sealed and uh, send it into PSA pack grading. But let's see. It's open now, huh? Need Arena. Ooh. Raticate. Maintenance. Weedle. Pokeball. Switch, Tangela, Squirtle, very nice. Oh, oh, that's Blastoise. No, I didn't expect that. No way, we just pulled Blastoise out of here. That's crazy, dude. Oh, imagine if we had pulled Charizard. That would have been even more wild. Oh, he looks really clean, too. Wow, that's actually a pretty lucky pack. I can't believe it. I was sitting here waiting for a cold one to come out. I have another booster to open. This is supposed to be a heavy pack of Crystal Guardians. Let's see if we get lucky. So Crystal Guardians is from the same era as Rocket Returns. And the cards in this set are equally very low print run. Maybe we'll pull a Gold Star, right? Wow, that opened really clean. You ready? Just going to jump to the pack, uh, to the back of the pack. It's not heavy. I'm going to be mad. Okay, it is heavy. <gasps> oh! No way! 
That might be the most expensive card I've opened so far. Bro. Wow, that's crazy. That card's going for, I think it's like $7,000 if it grades 10. Well, we're definitely going to have to grade this. Oh, man. I, I don't know. It's close. I'm looking at this right here. That doesn't look right. And it's a bit thinner on the left. Wow.